Now, apple cider vinegar has been used as a health tonic for thousands of years. And this is of interest to me because most of my patients have been asking me with regard to the benefits of apple cider vinegar. In fact, research has shown that true enough, apple cider has many health benefits and it includes lowering blood glucose. And therefore, it is helpful among my diabetic patients. Likewise, as an endocrinologist, where 80 to 90% of my diabetic population are either overweight or obese, and this has been a very common question. Can I try apple cider vinegar? Because they have been shown to help in weight loss. Can apple cider vinegar help patients lose weight? Let's watch this. We know that apple cider vinegar is actually made in a two-step fermentation process. Well, once the apples are crushed, they're combined with yeast, and then once converted into sugar, into alcohol, and then bacteria is added, this will then ferment the alcohol into acetic acid. Yes, it's an acid because acetic acid, which is the main active component of the apple cider vinegar, constitutes around 5 to 6% made up of acetic acid, which is responsible for the main effect of satiety. So calorie-wise, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar only contains approximately three calories and zero carbs. So claims of apple cider and its weight loss effect actually mainly comes from some animal studies that suggest that acetic acid in apple cider vinegar may promote weight loss in several ways, which have been shown to favor fat burning. In fact, studies like this have shown that when rats were exposed to acetic acid, it increased an enzyme called AMPK, which clinically or biochemically has been shown to boost fat burning and decreases fat and sugar production in the liver. So furthermore, one other study supporting the claim that acetate or the acetic acid may suppress centers in your brain that control appetite, which can therefore lead to food intake reduction. So although the results of the animal studies look promising, let me caution you that we need firm research, specifically human studies, to confirm these findings. Now, apple cider vinegar has been shown to promote fullness, which therefore can lead to a reduction in caloric intake, the mechanism for which why patients eat fewer calories with apple cider remains to be unknown. But at present, in addition to its appetite-suppressing effects, it has been shown to also slow the rate at which food leaves the stomach. So this effect therefore makes the patient feel fuller, faster, and therefore can help lower glucose and insulin levels. Now we have very few human studies looking at apple cider vinegar and weight loss. And in one human study, it showed some impressive effects on weight and body fat. In this 12-week study of 144 obese Japanese adults who consumed either one tablespoon of vinegar or two tablespoons of the vinegar or placebo. Placebo means it does not really contain vinegar and they drank it every day. These individuals were told to restrict their alcohol intake, but otherwise to continue their usual diet and activity throughout the study. And the results showed significant benefit. Those patients who were on one to two tablespoons of vinegar per day had weight loss of around 2.6 to 3.7 pounds of weight loss. There was approximately 0.7 to 0.9% reduction in body fat percentage, a reduction in the weight circumference, 
by 0.5 to 0.7 percent and biochemically at a reduction of approximately 26 percent in triglycerides concluding that based on this small study adding one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to your diet may help you lose weight reduce body fat percentage make you lose belly fat and decrease your blood triglycerides however this is only one of the very few human studies fairly large wherein the results are encouraging but i caution you additional studies are needed so if you opt to use apple cider vinegar based on these few studies here's how to add it to your diet an easy method is to use it with olive oil for salad dressing it can also be used for pickling vegetables or you can simply mix it with water and drink it now the amount of apple cider vinegar for weight loss is one to two tablespoons per day mixed with water it is best that you spread this out to two to three doses throughout the day and it may be best to drink it before meals taking more than what is recommended can also have potentially harmful effects as drug interactions can occur or erosion of the tooth enamel can happen it is also best to start off with one teaspoon per day to see how you tolerate it Remember, do not take more than one tablespoon at a time because taking too much at one sitting may actually cause nausea and undiluted vinegar may actually burn inside your mouth or esophagus. So the bottom line is at the end of the day, taking moderate amounts of apple cider vinegar appears in few studies to promote weight loss and provide a number of other health benefits. Although, we believe that other vinegars, other types of vinegars may actually provide similar benefits, but these vinegars with lower acetic acid content but also have less potent benefits. So scientific studies on apple cider vinegar's ability to help with weight loss, again, continues to be limited. It is very important that everyone remembers or realizes that there is no magic bullet for weight loss. Now, I'm not saying that if you're going to take this apple cider vinegar, you're going to get significant weight loss. Now, while studies have shown that there was pretty significant weight loss, the meager results of weight loss with, with this apple cider vinegar, data pale in comparison to other popular diets, exercise, and weight loss programs. So anecdotally, some patients report that including a tablespoon of diluted apple cider vinegar in the diet do make them feel fuller and therefore makes them less eat, less appetite, and better satiety, and therefore results in reduced snack cravings between dinner and bedtime. So perhaps apple cider vinegar do help with weight loss, perhaps simply because of appetite suppression. But until we have more solid research, the jury is still out. What we know at the present time as an endocrinologist I continue to advocate a nutritious diet with daily exercise to remain as the cornerstone of a scientifically proven weight loss program. It certainly is not as easy as just mixing apple soda with water or popping a pill, but the rewards start immediately and pay dividends for your health for the years to come. And remember, always remember, for health, for weight, there is no magic pill for healthy weight loss. Be skeptical of any claim otherwise. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. See you again soon.